sandwich, and here we are, Union Square, New York City. The Mason-Dixon line of Manhattan, dividing the downtown and the uptown. You've got on the east, the East Village, on the west, we've got the Flatiron District. This is a hot spot of uh, different activities. We've got political rallies to musical performances to random art show. I mean, you never know what you're going to have. Let's see if we can find find someone that might be staging a new political revolution that we could maybe maybe join the ranks of. Well, I think there he is. So what's up, man? How are you? Good. I, I'm Mike. So is it true what they say? You're a six foot seven Jew who's willing to rap freestyle for us. So how does it go? Do they, they give you money? They give me topics and ideas and then I just rap to them about whatever it is they want me to rap about. Now, I actually, I don't have any money. You have I'm organic just a, juice? Well, we're going to go over to the uh, organic market, the green market. We're going to get some organic juice for you okay. and then uh, we'll come back and maybe Sweet. see something. Yeah. All right, thanks, man. All right, so let, let's, go find, um, let's go find something at the green market that we can um, maybe pay for rapping. So here we are, the green market of Union Square. And there are um, 54 green markets across the five boroughs. And Union Square is actually the biggest of the green markets. This is where we can, you know, purchase organic and we can find, find the produce that our local farmers are actually producing. I'm trying to um, get some organic juice. Organic is not necessarily not harmful to the environment. It just means everything comes from an organic derivative. So we use organic methods that aren't harmful to the, our land. Right. And then when those fail, we'll use whatever spray will have the least impact on the ground. It's, it's a little more complicated in the Northeast because it's so humid. But he didn't really specify what type of juice he wanted, so we'll, we'll see if we can improvise. The raspberry apple sounds good. So... As is typical with the New York music scene, as quickly as the six foot seven Jewish rapper came on the scene, he disappeared. But in the meantime, a new political agenda has formed and we've, uh, we're beginning to rally against, against something. Without trying them. Everybody walks through Union Square. I mean, you're reaching, million, I'd say millions of people. Millions of people. And that's why we really have to be vigilant about protecting this because the police are trying to shut this down. Here we are, Strand Books. It's a historic landmark in New York for any well-read person. One of the things that Strand boasts is that they have over 18 miles of books. So rumor has it that the most stolen book from Strand Books is the Bible. We're going to see if we can pull one of those off today. Seven Jew. He stopped rapping. It looks like he, he's taking a break. Let's see if we can get him to start back up again. Hey man. Hey. So tell us a little bit about what you're gonna what you're gonna rap for us. What you're gonna spew. Well, I can also heal you without touching it, which I think is even better. Actually. Okay. If you have any injuries, ailments, or stress, I can work your energy field and you'll feel relaxation. done. I feel, um, I feel a, a certain peace right now, actually. So there it was, Union Square. I'm Mike Sandwich, signing off from the uh, nexus of culture and commerce. Till next time, see you.